Hello YouTube, this is Undeads93 coming back at you with another video. Well, uh, this will be another update on my SP collection. So, there's that. Which is uh, right now at 141 as of this update. So I've, uh, I've been uh, quite busy. So, let's start this off. We have first uh, our two Vortex Dragons. have Spirit Exceed, General Siegfried, Top Isle Florius, new one to the collection which is Ravenous Dragon Gear X, which is an interesting card. Um, the SP pattern is a uh, Still, with being preset five is very uh, generic. Got Tyusha. Uh, I believe these guys are new, which are my two Amber Dragon SPs that I've got. And um, for them, their SP pattern is not that bad. It's um, a bit of a like a shattered background. Really helps exemplify well. This uh, exemplifies Eclipse, the like grade three of the ride chain. We have uh, Dusk it's in a the end sleeve, which has the same shattered ish background. Which I like uh, I like those two. Those two have a really good SP pattern. We have Zenon and a new one. We got Mandala Lord. Which uh, has kind of a generic same background SP. Um, hmm, it's actually an interesting skill. Um, we have Phantom Blaster Award. We have our now three miracle beauties. So I got a new one through trade, so that puts me at three. Close to a place it. Got made in a trailing rose. And a new another new one, which is Stealth Fiend Midnight Crow. It's a really interesting card. Um still kind of a generic SP pattern. We got Vivane. Um, Desert Gun Shielden, which I believe is new. She has kind of the generic uh, set 6 slash 8 SP of the vertical lines down it. And we got our, well, my, the two Aggravines got added, which uh, have the same. Uh, same pattern of uh, just uh, lines down the artwork and down the as foiling. Got uh, Faja, Farja, Farja, Farja Gen, uh, Emperor Indra, which also has the same uh, just a uh, line SP pattern. Yeah, Dark Lord of the Abyss, which is uh, quite interesting, but uh. Also, is not that interesting of an SP pattern. We got School Dominator Apt, which um, also kind of flows into the same category as Abyss of a kind of just a just a regular S or just regular foiling, just with a tad bit of a change on lighting. Got Seal Maelstrom. A new one, which is Hydro Hurricane Dragon, which has a stripes pattern. Basil. Infinite Cosmo Lord. The Blood. Who is actually in a blood sleeve. I'm glad I actually got one of the. That was the sleeve that was Eclipse was in, but I put it on the Blood because it makes more sense. Descendant. My two ethics busters.
Artemis, Wingle, and Blaster Blade Liberator. Next, we got Fortuna. New one of Sweet Command, which uh, I really like his SP pattern. It's a uh, very, uh, doesn't do much, but it helps exemplifies the artwork. Two trains, of course. Oh. Aging. Am I now four? Well, I think I've already had four, but now four. Valley Reverse. Two. Dungry Unlimited. Four. Nibia Lord. Nub Lord. Sports child, and I believe new, which is having four of Lucierus. We got D'Artagnan and Miracle Pop Ava, who's really new. Uh, I really like her because it really exemplifies her artwork, but making her pop out more. Got Blaster, Dark Revenger, Coquette, Grammy Reverse, Ethics Extreme, Ethics Reverse, Original Saver Zero, Tetra Drive, which I'm not sure if he was new, but. Um, I really like his SP pattern because it's a more of a wavy pattern. Kokitis. Leopold. Reverse. Chat Noir. Which actually has gone up because of um, the technical booster. And a new one, we've got Blast Bulk. Which, uh, he has a lot of shine on him, but I really like his SP pattern. Probably say he might be in the top five of my SP pattern like so far, because uh, he really makes his artwork pop out. All oh, the amount of uh, different foiling on him. We got Yada Garasu. We got a new one, which is Ignition Dragon. Who's, uh, I believe, their second break record that Narukami has. But yeah, his SP pattern really exemplifies his art. Really makes it pop out. He has more depth. And another new one, which is Tempest Bolt. Which, um, he doesn't have as much going on on his as uh, as Ignition, but I still like his because he uses the same SP pattern that's on Miranda, which is the uh, many rectangles or hexagonal squares. We got Drag Ruler. We got an, uh, the one that got updated. So we have my Star Range Interpreters, which is now at a playset. The thing is, I need to sleeve this into the right sleeve. Because I recently got it, so I haven't got the chance to take out the Double Rare one from my deck. Spark Hercules. Cyclone Tooth, which is another recipe that's actually gone up because of uh, the technical uh, booster as well. Uh, Sukiyomi, and a Blaster Overlord, Fowling, I would like to get more so I can play all four, uh, all eight Fowlings in my Fowling deck. Yeah, Fowling, or the Duo, uh, Duo White Iori, uh, Duo Black Lily, we have Duo Black Rion, we have Tark. Two thing savers. We have our Brawler SP pair. We have our new one, which is Zale, which um, and he has a lot going on him, but I don't. I think Oxus actually pops out more of this. Yeah, Oxus draws you in more. His SP pattern. Oh, actually, yeah, I forgot to go over Rion. Um, but yeah, 
uh, with Marine as always, they always have really good SP art. Also, Oxus is in a Oxus leaf. We have uh, CEO Yagdressel, who is new to the collection. Um, her SP pattern is kind of generic, though. We have Brent Hilder. Menace Laser and his Legion Mate, which is Menace Laser. I really like that. I do like that their SP pattern wise um, goes together versus the versus the Brawler SP. Got Imaginary Plane Dragon, who is actually new to the collection. She has a his feeling is going all over the place with his. We have uh, one another one that's a playset, which is Phantom Dancer. And another new one, or actually, nope, nope, not a new one yet. Uh, we have two Dark Zodiac. And we got a new one, which is Blaster Joker. Which also, with his SP pattern, his is kind of all over the place. And we got Pion War. Ragnarok. Lambros, Clarence Sword, Home Rider, whose SP has gone up because of uh, the technical booster as well, Big Crunch, Karma Collector, and Hort Heron. Whoa. Stay. Heron. He's also actually gone up too because of a uh, technical booster a tad bit. Lambry. Uh, we have uh, its name uh, Kagasumaru, and we have Kosetsu Samoji, which actually he's gone up a quite a bit. Well. Hype wise, because of uh, Token Rambo getting their announced, so their new booster is refill. The only one from set four Anger Boil, Homeris, Globe Magis, Voltages, got True Eradicator Finish Blow. I still wish that you were just Eradicator specific, but there would be a lot of other Eradicator decks other than you that would be abusing that card. I got our two Chaos Universes, which I'm not sure if I updated on the last update. I had both of these, but um, I now have two, which is really good for my Chaos Breaker deck. Um, Lunatic, Akagi, Gaia Emperor, which is. Uh, it's probably my second favorite SP pattern. The first one being Lambert, because hers, uh, hers really draws you in. Spino Commando. Uh, Savage Guardian. Wink, ki uh, Wink Killer Misery. Which I really like hers, because hers, uh, also with how Guy Emperor is, it draws you into it. Um, Solomon. New one, which is NS. I actually pulled from a pack, which is really good. Well, actually, I, uh, I buy a lot of boxes of a Vanguard, so high chance of playing SPs. Uh, got Reiji, Chrono Fang. We have the Dark Regulator SP pack. Which, uh, two of them I use in the deck I actually have, and the other ones are just kind of, uh, in the collection. But yeah, that is, uh, my SP collection so far. Um, right now, as of this video, I would have two SPs on the way. Which would be Ashley Reverse, which I actually purchased because, uh, I pretty much set milestones for myself that before I hit... X and amount of number of SPs. I would want to have this SP in my collection. So for 150, 
I bought for Ashley Rivers. That's why I purchased her because I tried asking around on um, different forum groups or, or different uh, Facebook groups of, hey, does anybody have Ashley Rivers for sale or for trade? And I got nothing. So I was like, okay, I found her for cheap for like $33, $35. Like, sure, I'll buy that because the last time I saw her, she was like 40 plus. And plus, with also Jewel Knights getting support, quotation marks, um, in set 8, since there is already shown that they're getting a card in set 8, which is a kind of free quartet wall, but I don't see why Jewel Knights would run a quartet wall. Um, without a way of throwing things back into their deck, other than the Legion, which I mean, is not that good. Um, Sorry for that sidetrack. Um, and then also Kuma Sasano, which I am working on a trade. Well, actually, I am in a trade. All I have to do is just uh, finish going through my commons and find another uh, Taskmaster. And then that trade is basically all in the wraps. So, um, and then I'm in, currently in a talks with someone to purchase some more SBs since they're trying to get rid of things out of their SB collection. So that'll be more to my collection. And then also, uh, for the other girls, uh, before I hit 200 of uh, uh, SPs, is to try to get a regular Lukier. So set 7 Lukier into my SP collection. And then before 250, is to try to get an SP Olivia, which I don't want to purchase one because uh, it's a $300 card by herself. Uh, Lukier is not that bad. Because she's only about 70 to 90. So if I'm able to actually, like, hey, here's my trade binder. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can, like, see, like, one or a couple cards and they actually want it. Oh, okay, cool. I'll actually be glad to do that trade. But I'll have to work around with that. Um, but that is mostly it. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, I'll most likely do another deck. Um, video sometime soon. I'll probably do on Minerva since uh, the last time I used her she did really good in our uh, in our locals. She went undefeated but it was only four rounds and mostly she went against a Legend Neck. A Legend Neck um, Die Kaiser which she had a lot of trouble with mostly due to guard break and then uh, Otmile and that was basically the tournament so that's basically how that went. She did really well. I'm really glad that, that uh, with how the deck performed. Um, but, um, but yeah, that'll probably be my next deck profile. And that's a, probably a deck that will get uh, changed as set 8 comes around. Because um, Regalia is getting support. Also, there's a really good generic card that got, re got, got revealed today. Which is uh, a maiden who basically, when she hits on rear guard, you soul blast three and you bind two cards out of your opponent's hand. Which, in my opinion, is really good with having uh, with with Minerva or Fenrir, because um, it uh, it forces your opponent, in my opinion. So one thing I like with Genesis and also with how I built Minerva is basically the mentality is I'm using a whole bunch of good cards that do good things. Because I have uh, the Witcher Ravens, who when she's put into the uh, into the drop zone for us, so kind of us one hop to the field. Witcher Grapes, which when she's put into the drop zone from Soul, Soul Charge too. Uh, there's my 12, uh, 10, uh, 12k attacker for Regalia, and then there's a uh, Battle Maiden in Sashime, which on Vanguard or Regard, when she hits, kind of blast one, Soul Charge three, so a lot of Soul Charging, and also lots of pressure, which in my opinion, uh, the only thing that really needs to get changed out of the deck is, uh, I believe, his name's the uh, Bandit Harry, because most of the time I never use his, uh, his skill, he's mostly just there. But let's hope that set eight is able to actually give anything. Also, that uh, Minerva gives the best 
stride pull in my opinion. Because right now her stride pull is two Doom Brace, two Dementor, which Dementor in my opinion is a really, really good soul charging uh, for free. Because you just attack, counter blast, soul charge three, counter charge that, and hey, you just got three soul charge. And people are like, but tier's a thing. But yeah, for, for tier you got also soul blast three. I know you can get skills off of that, but you're so blasting a lot to hopefully get more uh, get more into your soul. Just very uh, meh. Um, then there's a two then again because then again is basically gonna either push my opponent far enough into um, into negging or gonna pull me far enough into next turn of just break riding Minerva and just wiping my opponent off the board. Um, then uh, I believe the last stride is the on hit stride which I most of the time I get rid of for stride fodder or not uh, for G assisting if I have to G assist but I never really go into her because she's kind of a dead card because uh, in my opinion uh, uh, on hit uh, stride or Vanguard strides are really not that good because um, I know they give a lot of pressure, but strides already give enough pressure with how most of them are. You have Novell, Diablo, Vanergan, Amnesty, Exelix, just things that, hey, I'm going to swing, I'm going to do things and sh screw your day up. Uh, Lambros as well. Uh, these are really good strides that don't require you to hit to have anything go off. Or also Victoplasma of I'm going to restand. Um, so yeah, there are just things that go off without hitting. So that's really good. So I'm glad like most on hitters are basically phased out by now. Um, and so I have like next day too. So, one thing I hope is that the Frenier Stride is, that is in the set, because I think that's probably going to be the only Genesis Stride in the set, other than maybe a rare. It's a rare probably just do like a kind of generic thing. Generic kind of thing. Um, that'll probably be on hit, which won't be that good. Um, the only thing I hope is that it's not like how the Squalic Vampire's evolution stride was. Of, I'm a near copy of our best stride at the moment, which is Gilas. But I kind of neg myself because I don't think there's any rigor or any units in their deck that pop themselves out of their soul like Pale Moon does because he tosses their units of soul. It's plus 10,000, which is pretty good. I think, yeah, you toss everybody, kills your opponent's stuff, um, then your opponent can't drop sentinels. So he's going to be swinging for 36, no matter what, because uh, if he has something boosted behind him, he's, he's going into the soul from that attack. So uh, it's going to be 36. Your opponent can drop sentinels, but G guards are a thing now. And, well, Gilas already made it very difficult entirely, and in my opinion, Gilas is still nearly infinitely better than um, Squalid Vampire's Evolution Stride, or Sinner, uh, Skinner, Skinner, Charlotte. Um, but I can see the possibility of using it, because you have, um, like, for Gilas, is if you're just facing a deck that doesn't throw anything on the board, but for uh, Scarlet, um, is if you're facing a deck like Royal Paladin, Gold Paladin, or maybe also Deep Police, if they have a Laurel on the board, so you can off their Laurel off the board. Um, but other than that, Gilas is still the, in my opinion, the best thing that you can still go with. But it gives you access to three turns, in my opinion, of uh, stopping your opponent from doing anything, so 
that's a good thing. But he's still, still uh, with Scarlet Vampire, with him being generic stuff. He's um still very behind uh, Blade Wing and Ammon, which is the dark regular deck I run. Because uh, his <laughs> soul charge is hard. Soul charge is really hard. Off of just like these cards, off of their starter to um, produce consistency. The only thing that Amon needs, oh, this is me just kind of rambling, um, is something at Soul Blast and Counter Charge because he runs out of Counter Blast way too quickly at the moment. But there, unless they make it like a generic stride that lets you Counter Charge, then I'm like, yeah, that works for me. Uh, well, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day.